probably should be helping you back out rather than filming. Yeah, oh, you're filming? Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where are we going, Sharon? We're going. To oh, we're going stealth camping, so I can't put that in. Would you ask me then? <laughs> so I thought you said we're going stealth camping. Oh, we're going stealth camping. Yay! <laughs> All right. Not at. Yeah, no. No. Turn hard. Turn hard now. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little white thing. We line up with that fence on the right hand side, with that guardrail. We'll do it right. Up we go! Well, off for another stealth hike. Can't tell you where I am because of that. There you go. We're here somewhere. A uh, couple of places in mind. We'll go and see what's what, who's around. And, yeah. See? <laughs> Just a friend of advice, a word of advice, guys. Never work with uh, animals or children. <laughs> well, here we are down at the lake and. Um, not far from where we want to camp, but access is a bit, uh, a bit like that. I don't know if you can see. A bit muddy around there. I don't know if we can actually get to where I want to be. Uh, if that's the case, then it's another 2K backtrack to the original campsite, which is no big deal. I know that one. I, it's a very nice place. So. Probably been walking for about two hours now. And uh, just had a bite to eat. Just had some lunch. Had some pasta salad. Uh, Sharon had some trail mix. Had a bit of a drink rest up a bit and we'll be on our way. Here comes the uh, Sharon the jungle specialist. So we're going to go check that out? Yeah, we'll go check that out. Um, see if we can get over that ridge line to the other spot that I saw. Up over there? Up over that way. Probably the way you just went. Huh. Follow that track, see where it goes. If that fails, we have to go all the way back to... Yeah. Another one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Time, time is now something we have to watch. But yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Hey guys, made it to the location. Um, interesting time getting here. We had to climb up a bit of a rock cliff and jump over stuff and bags off and on. And but uh, we got to a point where Sharon didn't want to go any further. Well, it wasn't smart for her to go any further fully packed if we didn't know what was here so I took the pack off and went ahead and scouted out the location um, turns out to be a great find so we um, I went back and got her and we came through well worth the effort show you around there's my setup I'm in the hammock again tonight it's just light and easy expecting rain tomorrow morning um, packing up in the rain is going to be interesting but you know it's the last day so if things get wet they get wet Sharon's just here, she's going to have to put up for my snoring. Yeah, Sierra Designs. stove going again. I'm falling in love with this thing guys. It's so easy and uh, saves a lot of weight and messing around. Got a beef stew I made yesterday. It's in a Crivex bag just heating up in boiling water. Over there. I can get the light on it. Got the old pot cozy and that's got a bag of rice in there rehydrating. So we have beef stew and rice tonight. Uh, Sharon's got the similar thing going on over there with the pot cozy. She's got a noodle noodle and something, I don't know, Asian noodle something she's whipping up. We're just sitting here watching a few embers fly around and chilling oh. out. Hey guys, this is the morning after. As you can see we're pushing our way back through this overgrown track. Whoop. 
filming and walking at the same time. Um, it was a really good night. Slept in the hammock again. Slept all the way through from like, I don't know, 8 o'clock till whatever, 7 in the morning, 6 in the morning, I can't remember. Um, got a bit of dampness in the bottom of the hammock. I think it's from the reflective I was laying on. So we'll have to sort that out. If anyone's got any advice, I'd appreciate it. But other than that, it was a great night. Sharon's pushing on. Push on, Sharon. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>